this is uh, Anton's next question here. So you've got uh, this point that lies on this curve, y equals x squared. So a quick sketch. All right, that's a terrible parabola, but this is y equals x squared. Okay, and we want the minimum distance from this point. Woo, I'm all over the place. Two. Okay, let's put it over here. Let's put point A. Call that two and one half. Okay, so we want the distance from any point on this curve to come to this point A and to be a minimum. Well, let's find the distance. So using Pythagoras, we have the change in x values. Okay, change in x values. Any point P has this coordinate. Oh, I'm way up here x, so find the difference between x and 2, x minus 2, and the y value of x squared and 1 half. So, x squared minus 1 half. Okay, so the distance, this line here, okay, is x minus 2 squared plus x squared minus 1 half squared. The square root of all that will be the distance between point A and any point on the parabola. Okay, I'm going to assume this shows up on the graphing calculator question, as I didn't hear otherwise. Otherwise, you can still do it. It just gets a little bit messy. So let's just graph it. So this is the difference between x and 2, and the difference between the y coordinates, y squared, and uh, minus and 1 half, right? So the point would be, he would be right here, what we're looking for, the minimum of this d function. And we find that using the calculator. Come down to find the minimum, number 3. And left bound, we've got it. Now we come over. Keep coming over till we're up again. Right bound. Come over a little bit for a guess. Press enter. And we see the answer there. The minimum value. Whoop. We can read off the graph. The minimum distance will be the outcome and it is 1.12 so the distance function that is a minimum the distance is 1.12 to three significant figures Woo! I'm all over the place okay that comes from this okay because we put in y equals which is really d equals good